Today is June 16th, 2021. This is Demonic Grouping and Root Spirits. The following categories of demonic spirits are a detailed list of demonic groupings along with the potential root spirit. There is a difference. The groupings are often revealed in deliverance, but this is by no means all of them, nor does it mean that this is how all demons are grouped. Before you begin doing self-deliverance, I strongly suggest you keep in mind that deliverance is not about saying as many cool words as possible in the right sequence. In my first-hand experience, that isn't how deliverance works. Deliverance, very simply, comes from God as a result of the free gift of grace as we receive through the payment made for us on the cross by Jesus Christ. So I hope the above doesn't confuse or discourage any of you, but just keep in mind the main components of deliverance are the following. Number one, salvation. Have you accepted Christ as your personal Savior and Lord? Number two, forgiveness. Are you carrying around anger and resentment towards someone else? If yes, then take actions, get on your knees, Confess it to Christ and ask it to be forgiven. Yes, again. Number three, repentance. True repentance is a w change in the way you think and act. This is a sign of true repentance. Remember, God knows anyway. So get downright raw in your honesty with him. Number four, prayer. Are you diligently seeking God in prayer? Are you praying in the name of Jesus? Number five, praise and worship. Good praise music goes a long way in deliverance. Elders and, this is number six, elders and other Christians. If you can get a mature Christian to join you in the deliverance, then this will give you the ability to call in the below prayer, which is huge. Where two or more are gathered together in my name, there I am also in the midst of them. Matthew 18, 20. Now, I'm going to say something about this and people who call themselves Christians. I'm not saying all are like this. But you want to make sure that, that, that they are personally very, very strong in the Word of God. So you have a strong foundation. Now, the instructions. Command in Jesus' name the strong man to come out first and demand that they bring the root spirits out with him. Do everything in the name of Jesus, always. First, abandonment. That's the strong man. The root spirits, isolation. Loneliness, not feeling wanted, not belonging. Victim, rejection. Bitterness is a strong man. Root spirits, blaming, complaining, criti critical judging, gossiping, murmuring, ridicule, unforgiveness, irrational condemnation. Anxiety is a strong man. Root spirits, burden, false responsibility, fatigue, heaviness, nervousness. Restlessness, weariness. Anger is a strong man. Root spirits, frustration, wrath, hatred, rage, resentment, temper, bitterness, tantrum, spoiled behavior, feeling bad inside, hidden anger associated with high blood pressure. Addiction is a strong man. Root spirits, physical addiction, alcohol, caffeine, nicotine, cocaine, upper stimulants, marijuana, any other street drugs, prescription drugs. Mental addiction, which is the root spirit, sex, pornographic, masturbation, gambling, video games, television, sports, exercise, other people receiving attention, adrenaline. Confusion is a strong man. 
confused thoughts, indecision, lack of focus, lack of concentration. OCD, disconnected thoughts, lapse in memory, inability to make conclusion, distorted perception. Hear words that aren't said, takes things in a very sensitive manner, unable to grasp simple truth. Deception is a strong man. Confusion, lying, self and others. Self-deception, gullible, believe in lies. Depression is a strong man. Feeling of discouraged, feeling of despair, feeling of hopelessness, despondent, self-pity, oversleeping, insolomy, thoughts of suicide, attempts at suicide, withdrawing from others, feeling alone, no one understands, feeling like a victim. Unworthiness is a strong man. Feeling of inferior, self-hate, self-condemnation, self-mutilation, self-torture. Feeling undeserving, feeling of unworthy, feeling second rate. Escape is a strong man. Fantasize, fantasizing. Procrastination, withdrawal from others, forgetfulness. Fear is a strong man. Fear of other people, fear of going outside, fear of sex, fear of eating, fear of talking, fear of driving, fear of exercise, fear of bathing, fear of anything that is important to daily survival. Fear of men, fear of women, fear of relationships, fear of commitment, fear of success, fear of God, fear of Jesus, fear of churches, fear of government. Fear of rules, fear of rejections, oversensitive nature, fear of illness, infirmities, fear of cancer, fear of diabetes, fear of the dark, fear of high blood pressure, fear of heart attacks, worry about everything, projected fear and worry, doom days fear, heavy anxiety, burdens, heaviness, horror movies, superstition, irrational concern. Numerous phobios, fear of what you might say. Financial patterns is a strong man. Greed, stinginess, spend too much, compulsive shopping, poor financial judgment, inability to save, inability to budget, live in poverty, job losses, poor employment history, move job to job, fail at your job. Greed is a strong man. Cheating. Stealing, misrepresentation, fraud, do anything for money, unable to spend money. Grief is a strong man. Feeling of loss, feeling of sadness, feeling of sorrow, feeling of suffering. Strife is a strong man. Arguing, bickering, cursing, disagreement, discord, mocking, blaming, friction. Surgery is a strong man. Anesthesia, difficult childbirth, epidurals, trauma is a strong man, been in a car accident, other types of accidents, suffer major loss, suffered sexual abuse, suffered date rape, suffer physical abuse, suffer verbal abuse, suffer violence, suffer emotional abuse, any major traumatic event. Unbelief is a strong man, doubt, disbelief. Rationalism, skepticism, unbelief, doubt everything, don't trust anyone, can't believe anything, everything seems dubious, violence is a strong man, viewing, arguing, arguments, physical harms, murder, retaliation, torture, threats, competition is a strong man, competition when driving, Jealousy feelings, possessive feelings, striving to outdo everyone, pride, competing with, when unnecessary, competing with everyone and everything. Infirmities, sickness, disease are strong is a strong man. Illness through accidents, falls, car injuries, etc. Arthritis, asthma, barrenness, cancer, diabetes, family history disease, fatigue, fibromyalgia. Heart disease, hypertension, miscarriage, 
mental illness, migraines, skin disease, rashes, premature death, physical abnormalities, sexually transmitted disease, high blood pressure, vision problems, mental illness is a strong man, feeling of craziness, compulsion, confusion, hallucination, hysteria, insanity, obsession, compulsion, schizophrenia, paranoid, seizures, all types, mental anguish, shock treatment, Occult and witchcraft is a strong man. Astrology, black magic, white magic, Wicca, mind reading, palm reading, spirit box, ghost box, EVP, instrument trance communication, talking to the dead, crystal ball, ESP, divination, calling or dispatching demons, fortune teller, tarot cards, automatic handwriting, Freemasonry, Eastern Star, Horoscope, Telepathic, Teleportation, Pendulum, Psychic Healing, New Age Medicine, Past Life Readings, Non-Christian Exorcist, Own Any Occult Jewelry or Clothing, Ouija Board, Take or Made a Blood Pack or Oath, Levitation, Hypnosis, Watch the Exodus Movie and Became Very Frightened, Read a call in witchcraft books. Watched a horror movie and became very frightened. Attended a seance. Talked to spirit guides. Read books about spirit guides or new age. Sorcery. Practice yoga. Practice Eastern medicine or martial arts. Voodoo. Visit a so-called spiritist. Visit pagan temples. Sexual sins is a strong man. Fornification, expose yourself, homosexuality, ancestral sex, lebe- lesbian, fantasies of lust, lustful masturbation, demonics being sexually assaulted you, pornographic, premarital sex, rape, seduction, sexual abuse, prostitution or sex for money, sex with an animal. Shame is a strong man. Condemnation, embarrassment, guilt, self accusation, self disgust, self reproach. Pride is a strong man. Arrogance, self importance, vanity, false self worth. Film better than others, plastic surgery for vanity reasons. Criticizing one's own appearance. Disliking one's own race, disliking one's own nationality. Criticizing your appearance. Rebellion is a strong man. Stubbornness, undermining, lying, insubordination, argumental, hard-headedness, argue to be arguing, debating. Rejection is a strong man. Perceived rejection, perfectionness, self-rejection. Religion is a strong man. Antichrist, cults, legalistic thinking, rules, traditionalism. No matter what, no matter what the demon is, you always have a savior. His name is Jesus Christ. These are for spiritual warfare. The next thing I'm going to read to you is if you have any of these demons at all, it's a sickness. Where the sickness be made, Jesus, who died on the cross for you, made a promise. And I'm going to read that according to Jeremiah 17, 14. It says, Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are my praise. Jeremiah 24, 7. I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord. They will be my people and I will be their God because they will return to me with all their heart. Romans 13, 12 The night is nearly over and the day is near. In Jeremiah 24, 7 When God said they will be my people and I will be their God because they will return to me with all their heart that means you have Repented, 
ask for forgiveness. That means you've been born again. And now that you want God as your Lord and Savior, you have turned away from the world and you have turned to God and his glorious kingdom. You have two choices in this life. You will either go to hell or you will go to heaven. There is no in between. I am telling you the truth because it says it in God's word. If you're not for God, you're against God. Well, who else is against God? Satan. So guess what? That's where you will go. I'm not going to be like these other pastors and sugarcoat anything. I'm teaching brim fire, fire, however they say it, brim fire, and the truth. That either you serve God or you serve the world. If you serve this world, you go to hell. If you serve God, you go to heaven and you spend eternity with God. It's that simple. Just like you see the sign in the in the video, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, let's go together. When you go together, you're in one accord. This video was to make you aware of the different video, uh, different demons and the strong man behind the other demons and how it works. Jesus also gave you the authority that is, if you have changed your life. He gave you the authority to tell Satan to get behind him. Use it. Use it. Again, I'm telling you the truth because a lot of pastors won't tell you the truth because they're concerned about losing their flock and losing the money. They're putting money over people's souls, which is wrong. I'm not saying all pastors are that doing this, but you can ask for yourself. How can you defend yourself if you don't know who the enemy is or who you're being attacked by? Ask yourself that question. If you got children, for example, do you look at every man and woman as a pedophile, you can't because there, there's no certain look to a pedophile. Do you have to be aware of how they act? Yes. In other words, what I'm saying is their actions will show you. Like if you're a single female and you're going to a mall, you don't walk up to your car when there's a van parked next to you that has no windows. You get somebody to go with you because you don't know if there's somebody who's waiting in that van to to grab you, kill you, rape you, or whatever the case may be. And I pray to God that doesn't happen. But what I'm saying is be, be aware of your surroundings. In this case, you need to be a, aware of your surroundings, not only in the physical world, but the spirit world too. Especially if you have changed your ways and you have dedicated your life to God, and you are a child of God. Because the more you serve God, and the more you want a God, the more Satan is going to get mad and try to hurt you. But remember one thing, Satan does not have the keys of death. Only God does. Now, can these demons hurt you? Yes, they can throw you around and hurt you and call, cause bodily harm. But they cannot kill you. I'll make that real clear. They cannot kill you. Because if they could, they most of us would be dead by now. But I want to say this. Thank you for watching this video. God bless you. And may God bless you a thousand times over. I pray that there's more people that will turn their lives over to God. And I pray that more people will start asking their pastors why they're not teaching the truth about the word. About the Holy Spirit speaking in tongues. Teaching them about who your enemy is. 
Just not saying, well, you know, Satan's going to hurt you. Satan's your enemy. No, going more deeper into it. The example that I like to use and my wife says I like using is you take a brand new soldier uh, basic training and give them a the weapon, but they were never trained on that weapon or taught anything about it. How are they going to use it? They may not know how to load the bullets into the magazine. What good is that soldier on the battlefield? They're not. They're not. Many of people will die because that soldier was not taught the proper way. Now you take, and you're probably saying, well, brother, how does that pertain to the church world? Well, it does pertain to the church world. Your main focus is to be on God. But how are you going to defend yourself if you don't know who your enemy is and how they attack? If you look at Matthew 4, 4, God said, man will not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of his mouth. What he's saying is, you will live by what, how I told you to live. He told his disciples to go out and heal the sick, raise the dead, and cast out demons. Well, how can you cast out demons if you don't know who they are? How can you heal the sick? There's sick people going in church today and they're walking out the same way. Ask yourself that question. Why are they walking out? If you believe in God, then why aren't these people being healed and walking out of church healed? Ask yourself that question. The religion leaders are to be there to do exactly what the disciples do. They are responsible for that flock. And they are to teach you everything about God's word. Not part of it, not a quarter of it, not 99.9%, .9%, but 100% of it. And they are charged with healing the sick in their flock. So you explain to me or ask yourself, why am I going to church and seeing all these people that are coming in sick and leaving sick? But yet you say you believe in God. You got some people who say they believe in God, but they don't believe in everything that God said because only part of it is for the biblical days. Really? I think it's in Hebrews 8.13 where God says, I'm the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So when did God change? He never changed. He never changed. So here we go again. Either you want the truth or you don't. You cannot sit on a fence post and have it both ways. You're either for God or against God. If you're against God, then you have become an enemy of God. If you're for God, then you will and do what God tells you to do and not be ashamed of the gospel you will spend eternity with him. This is not some type of rocket science class. This is very, very basic common sense on what God is saying. Most important thing you can do is repent of sins known and unknown every day to keep yourself right with God. Some sins are more powerful than others. And it may take longer for you to get to come cleanse or clean of that sin. But Jesus understands he'll be there. But don't walk away. Don't turn your back on God. The one last thing I want to say is, and this is how I feel about some pastors and people in church today. Imagine that was your son. Or your daughter up there on the cross. That sacrificed themselves. And people did the same thing that they're doing to Jesus today. How would you feel? How would you feel 
if that was your son and daughter on the cross that sacrificed himself for all humanity and people turn around doing what they're doing today. Think about that. There's like these military families who lose their loved ones in war, but yet we got these people out here spitting on the flag and everything. How do you think they feel? I want you to take the time to think about that. How would you feel if your son and daughter was on the cross or your son and daughter got killed in the war and you'd see people spitting on the American flag or spitting on their graves? How would you feel? How would you react? I'll tell you. You'd probably be mad and upset. Now, I don't know if God gets mad or not, upset or not, but how do you think he feels when he sees us as humans, that he created us. How you think he feels when he sees us down here committing all kinds of sins? There's murder going on. Killing of all the babies. And that's another thing I want to point out. In the law, in the United States, murder, when somebody gets charged with murder, that means they took somebody's life. That means their heart quits beating. Well, what do you think happens when a doctor kills a newborn baby? Why aren't they being charged with murder? See, if you're a child of God, you would agree with me on a lot of things. And it's not me you have to agree with. Because all this comes from God's word. It comes from God himself. In fact, I, I don't want you to agree with me. I want you to go and open the word of God yourself and look everything up when it comes to demons, spiritual warfare, healing, raising the dead, casting out demons, and healing the sick. Look it up for yourself. Whether it's a CSB Bible, Christian Standard Bible, or the King James, wherever it may be, but make sure you do your homework on the Bibles because some of these Bibles have changed the words. I'm not trying to rattle on. I'm just saying God wants you. He loves you. He wants everybody to be saved. But there's going to be some of you that won't be saved because you refuse to change your ways. Where you want to hear that or not, that's the truth. Am I perfect? No. But I'll tell you one thing that I do. Me and my wife do. One, we don't argue. We always sit down and talk about things. And we always praise God. And we always give thanks to God for everything we have. I encourage people to do that. I encourage you not to have sex outside the marriage. I encourage you to wait if you're... Go get married. I encourage you to hang your heart over to God. This is not a game. This is serious business. And there is a serious spiritual war going on for our souls. So I said enough. And I'm going to pray now that Lord Jesus, I ask you to touch these people that are watching this video. And bless them and open their eyes and give them the truth. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching. I pray that you will look up these scriptures. Or start looking into the word yourself. If you got anything negative to say about these videos. Please don't take the time because we will block you. We don't got time for other brothers and sisters to post negative things. In fact, if you're going to think, watch these videos and post something negative, don't even take the time because it's a waste of time because you're not of God. You're nothing but a hypocrite if you're going to try to put something negative on there. Simple as that. For those who do care and want to change your lives to follow Jesus and not ashamed of the gospel, you're more than welcome to put comments on there. 
Thank you and bless you. God bless you.